My name is Caroline Bucky. I'm an Associate Professor of Epidemiology and the Associate Director of the Centre for Communicable Disease Dynamics at the TH Chan School of Public Health. I study the transmission of infectious diseases through populations uh, with a particular focus on how infections spread um, through space and over time. Most of my work is focused on understanding malaria which affects um, hundreds of millions of people each year and kills probably half a million people annually, mostly children under the age of five. My group uses mathematical models that combine different types of data from new technologies, whether that's genetic information about the pathogen itself or uh, different types of data streams on human migration and mobility from mobile phones and satellites and other data sources like that. And we combine these different data sets using models to understand the spatial dynamics of disease transmission. One of the most important developments in science right now is the very rapid pace of technological change. And that's occurring not just with these genomic technologies that I was talking about, but also with respect to human populations. You know, we all have mobile phones now. Um, we have enormous amounts of data about how people are behaving, how they're moving around, and we can interact with populations, even remote populations, in a way that we couldn't do in the past. So for public health, and for infectious disease surveillance and control, these technologies, now that they're distributed everywhere and they're so ubiquitous, have really important implications for how we conduct surveillance and how we implement control programs, both with respect to engaging populations and educating people and keeping them informed about what's happening, as well as feeding back data from those um, new technological data streams into our models to help us understand and predict what's going to happen next with outbreaks um, and how to think about moving towards elimination for some of these infections like malaria that would have been with us for such a long time. The excitement for me, the, the, and one of the reasons I love being here at Harvard, um, is that we have the cutting edge technological development and we have um, some of the smartest minds thinking about the statistical and mathematical tools. And for me, the exciting part is how do we take those tools and the, those technologies and take them to the most vulnerable populations in the hardest to reach areas and see if we can actually impact on the ground what's happening um, and control some of the increasingly ubiquitous emerging infections uh, as well as um, really get to grips with some of these ancient diseases like malaria. Something that I feel very passionately about is capacity building and I think um, People at elite institutions like Harvard in, in the West and in high income settings, one of the most valuable things that we can contribute to global public health is capacity building and making sure that our educational mission reaches people actually trying to combat infectious disease outbreaks in hard to reach and remote and low income settings. So that's really a big part of my work actually.